Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on what is Golang by IntelliPad. Golang is useful for carrying out programming for scalable servers and large software systems. The Golang programming language was built to fill in the gaps of C++ and Java that Google came across while working with its servers and distributed system. In this session, we'll learn all about Golang and all its properties. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello guys, welcome to today's session on what is Golang. Now before starting the session, let's look on today's agenda. Today we are going to discuss what is Golang, Go or Golang, why Go was created, applications of Go programming, Go versus other programming languages, Go versus Python, and at the end we are going to see why to learn Go. What is Golang? In the cloud, you may practically use any programming language, but there are only few that stand out. Let's take a look at one of them. Go is an open source programming language that emphasizes simplicity, dependability, and efficiency. In 2007, Google created the Go programming language. At the time, Google was rapidly expanding and the code used to run their infrastructure was also expanding in both size and complexity. Some Google cloud engineers began to suspect that their work was being slowed by the massive and complex code base. As a result, they concluded that they needed a new programming language that was centered on simplicity and speed. Go was created by Robert Grishmer, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson. In 2012, Go became an open source project. In 2012, Go was made an open source project which was made available to the public. It swiftly grew in popularity and has since become one of the major modern programming languages. Now let's see whether it's called Go or Golang. Is this called Go or Golang? Let us hear from the Google itself. According to Google, the name Golang originates from the URL golang.org, which was chosen since go.org was not available to us. As a result, some people use the term Golang and Go interchangeably when referring to the programming language. Now let's discuss why Go was created. Google dealt with two major issues. Compile time is one of them. Back in the 1980s, in order to build a reasonable sized project, it took hours. There were entire server farms devoted to recompilation. Google creates things that are so enormous that they are still in 2022. Even on a powerful i7 PC, it takes 5 hours to rebuild Chrome from scratch. The agony of a compile time on these builds is so intense that Google built its tool that splits dependency analysis and compilation, merely to save a few percent of a build time. When using traditional languages. Go is intended for a rapid compilation without the requirement for dependency checking, hence elevating build pain. String processing is Google's other issue. Google examines and analyzes a large number of text files called web pages. They conduct a lot of string manipulation, so it pays to be efficient as possible. Google built a robust library of string function into Go, and garbage collection makes strings in Go straightforward to think about and efficient in ways that other strings are not. Everyone believes they are a language designer. Microsoft and Apple each had their own set of languages. Apple has two these days. I assume Google decided they needed their own. Then Facebook joined also the proprietary language celebration, leaving only Amazon at the language dance alone. Go is not an unreasonable language design. It does exactly what it says on the label. It's not really new, but it's well designed for a very specific purpose. Go has a strong concurrency support, which is critical for a language built after 2002 and for the companies with a million of servers ready to go. However, it does not break new ground in concurrency. Go is made up of C strings, garbage collection and concurrency. If you want to write incredibly large application that examine the entire internet, then Go is a fantastic choice. Let's discuss the applications for Golang. Go was originally designed for networking and infrastructure related programming. It was designed to be a replacement for a popular high performance server side languages such as Java and C++. Go is now used for a wide range of purposes including Go is widely used for cloud based or server side applications. Go is also widely used in DevOps and site reliability automation. Go is also used to write a large number of command line utilities. Go is also widely used in artificial intelligence and data science. Some people use Go in microcontroller programming, robotics, and video games. However, Go shines the brightest when it comes to infrastructure. Some of today's most popular infrastructure tools such as Kubernetes, Docker, and Prometheus are developed in Go. Now let's see the syntax for the Golang. So this is a sample program printing hello world. So you can see here, here is a package main, 
then we are importing fmt and in the main function we are trying to print fmt.println hello world so this function is going to print hello world now let's see go versus other programming languages according to 2020 the stack overflow developer survey go is one of the most popular programming languages among its user and in 2020 go developers poll received a 92 percent of approval rating among go users appears to agree now let's see go versus other programming languages according to 2022 stack overflow developer survey go is one of the most popular programming languages among its users go on its own in 2022 developer poll which received a 92 percent of the approval rating against other languages now let's discuss go versus python python has been there for more than 30 years but its popularity continues to rise the language design has withstood with the test of time despite some rough spots along the way python and go are two one of the most popular and user-friendly programming languages available today python and go have straightforward syntax and are supported by all major cloud providers on a first party basis both go and python are simple to learn and easy to get started with for beginners which is easier and debatable go is a simpler language that can be taught more quickly but some people find it more difficult to get started than python which takes longer to master because there is more to understand go is a procedural language and python is an object oriented language go supports concurrency but python does not have its inbuilt concurrency go is ideal for system programming while Python is ideal for solving data science problem. Go doesn't provide exceptions and Python supports exception handling. Now let's discuss why to learn Go. The answer to that question is because it's simple to understand because the syntax of the Golang is similar to that of C and it is simpler to learn, especially for a C style or Java programmers. Go's grammar is narrower than those of any other programming languages and it contains only minimum set of functionality to get the job done. If you talk about concurrency, other programming languages such as Python, Java and others make it difficult to create multi-threading programs since they are frequently suffer from performance difficulties, concurrent execution, thread locking, race situations and deadlocks. This was kept in mind while building Golang. Golang features a notion such as Go routines, which are lightweight threads handled by Go runtime. It contains expandable segment stacks, which means it will only consume more memory as necessary. If we talk about networking, high quality parsing libraries that are easy to integrate into other libraries can also be found in Networking Go. It is ideal for creating production level networking applications such as TCP or HTTP servers. It also allows you to create your own protocols. It also contains a number of nice libraries to play with around networks such as NetConf, SSH, and so on. If we talk about standard library, Go offers an incredible standard library that includes a plethora of convenient and easy to use built-in methods and packages for working with basic types. Some packages make it simple to handle input-output, encoding and decoding, raw bytes manipulation, network utility functions, parsing, debugging and other variety of tasks. Furthermore, there is no need for an additional requirement because testing support is incorporated into the standard library. If we talk about maintainability, Go purposely excludes several features seen in the mainstream of object-oriented programming languages. Because everything in Go is separated into packages, it contains structs rather than classes. It does not include separate runtime library. There is also no sense of inheritance. As a result, there is no overhead in keeping track of classes that are to be inherited, making it easier to maintain and alter. Thank you. And that was all from our side. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Just a quick info guys. If you want to learn Golang, then IntelliPad provides a Golang certification course taught by industry experts of more than 10 plus years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.